I tell when people talk to me like, well, we want to save money on testing. I was like, well, do less testing then. It's, it's, it's too big of a problem to try and say, like, I am going to mathematically compu compute all the different permutations and variations I have to test, and then we're going to be able to, you know, that, that, this is why, you know, with the, uh, the, the um, oh, what's, I was going to say algorithmic test case management, but it's not. It's the um, orthogonal test case management, right? So this is where, you know, like pairwise testing, where you basically figure out, you know, how many different sets and pairs of test conditions there are. and You can mathematically, you know, figure out the, the least amount of test cases to get the maximum amount of coverage. Which, there's, if, if you've got a huge test case investment, that stuff works and will help you do it, but it still doesn't answer any of the right questions, right? And that's, uh, I've always struggled with that. And I think the context-driven community has struggled with that as well, saying, we're answering the wrong question here, right? You know what I mean? It's like, I don't want to have hundreds of thousands of test cases. Right? I don't want to whittle that down to tens of thousands of test cases. I want to do better testing and understand what value I'm trying to protect and who's that for. And those are much harder questions to answer, which will drive your test strategy as opposed to just looking at it as pure maths, you know? Um, and so, yes, if you have 100,000 test cases, there are tools out there that can help you get that down to 10,000, right? But is that answering any of the right questions for you? Uh, my, my experience is probably not.